Hi, I'm Harry and I've been with Slip Test nearly six years now, uh, working with our customers to improve their floor safety, uh, reduce their slip risk um, and, and, and trying to prevent incidents from happening. Um, one of the pieces of equipment that we use uh, on a regular basis with our customers is the pendulum, uh, which you can see here. Uh, and I'm going to give you a very basic demonstration on the machine today and, uh, and how it works. Um, so we've got the machine set up on a, on a floor here, uh, on, a, on a typical pedestrian type floor. Um, we can see uh, the method in which the pendulum works in, in that there's a rubber footer attached to the bottom of the machine here, and that's to replicate the heel of a shoe. Uh, this particular uh, slider is slider 96, which is kind of the shod pedestrian footer that we would generally use for most of our testing. Uh, there is a slider 55 which is used for barefoot testing and there's the odd scenario where you might need to test for kind of shop pedestrian and barefoot um, but uh, slider 96 we are using today um, on, on the pendulum um, the slider is attached to a to an imitation shoe essentially um, which contacts the floor for a predetermined uh, distance uh, before uh, kind of activating the needle and measuring our slip resistance. Now, um, this machine has been set up properly, it's calibrated, uh, the slider has been prepared. Um, so, let's get to testing. So it's important uh, to remember that when we let the, the shoe go, um, we, we push the button here and we must catch it before it returns. And here we go. There we go, so we've registered 62 PTV. And our 62 PTV is a good slip resistance, it's, it's categorised as a low risk of slip. And we have uh, this, the kind of the scale essentially for measuring slip resistance uh, on the side of the machine here. Anything which is 36 or above is deemed as a low risk of slip. At that point, one in one million people may find that the floor feels slippery underfoot. Uh, when we come down uh, to 24 PTV, um, that's kind of the, the, the bottom of kind of, that's into kind of a high risk of slip. So anything less than that um, is, is deemed as a high risk of slip. At 24, it's about one in 20 people may find that the floor feels slippery underfoot. And that gap in between 24 to 36 and um, that's our moderate risk of slip. Um, so it's important to ensure that we're testing our floors in both wet and dry conditions. The British standard calls for it, uh, but also uh, we find that more uh, incidents and accidents occur uh, when there is some form of contamination involved. Um, so generally we would use water, um, however if there are specific kind of contaminants in your property, uh, oils, fluids, um, kind of fats or greases potentially, and then we can test to replicate the, the environment that, that kind of may well be in your properties. So what I'm going to do this time is we are just going to use some water and we thoroughly wet our test area. There we go. And then the same principle as before, we reset our needle go. So we can see now uh, that that floor has achieved 34 PTV uh, in wet conditions. So it's just fallen into the moderate risk of slip. Um, but for, for, for this type of floor, and it's a, it's a pretty good measurement um, and would be, would be fairly happy with that. Um, given the fact that this floor is quite unlikely to become that wet, um, then, then yeah, we'd be perfectly happy with that floor. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the pendulum. Um, as I say, a, a nice piece of kit to use, take some, some expertise and some training to use properly and set up and, and, and ensure that we're getting accurate results, um, but it's just one of the pieces of kit that we use here at Slip Test.